For me, establishing any new project is only worth it if you have a fundamental breakthrough that nobody else in the world has been able to do so far. And that's really why Transpod came about. When everybody is going left, I go right. I like to do things differently than anybody else. So when I saw that project, I said, you know what? Nobody thinks that we can make it. Yeah, I will prove them wrong. <laughs> If you have to redesign or develop a new transportation system, you must address four elements. The first one, you need to design something which is easier to use than cars, airplane, train, and so on. So really more flexible. The second one, of course, that's sustainability aspect. The third element, it needs to be affordable to people. And the last aspect is the speed. We have the opportunity today to really develop the transportation system of the 21st century and we can really change the way people and goods are traveling today. So we're ready to take on the challenge. Transpod is a new type of ultra high speed aerospace transportation to connect cities on the ground at over a thousand kilometers per hour. It's 100% electrically powered, so it can be a very green technology. We needed a cloud-based platform, so since we have people all over the world, we need them to be able to access to the same kind of digital mock-up. Just like an aircraft development program, there are many different pieces inside, many different subsystems that are being worked on by partners and employees and research agencies that all have to fit together between many different countries. We are well integrated, way more than only talking about the 3D design, but also from sourcing uh, materials, suppliers, configuration management, being able kind of to have the uh, full life cycle of the product. Being able to integrate that at the early stage of the company allows the team to get used to it, take good habits, and having a rigorous process to do the entire development.